This is the AJCC Staging Moments. This is breast case number three, and I'm Donna Gress. This is the presentation of a newly diagnosed breast cancer patient being presented at cancer conference for treatment recommendations and clinical staging. The history and physical. This is a 56-year-old female who noticed a mass in her left breast. Physical exam revealed a 3.5 centimeter hard mass in the upper inner quadrant of the left breast. Multiple axillary nodes are enlarged and firm, but movable. The family history is negative. The imaging results. The mammogram showed a 3.8 centimeter density in the upper inner quadrant of the left breast. The right breast was negative. The ultrasound showed a 4 centimeter hypoechoic area at 1130 in the left breast. The left axilla showed a 1.5 centimeter abnormal lymph node. Now the diagnostic procedures. An ultrasound guided core needle biopsy of the upper inner quadrant of the left breast mass was performed with a clip placement. There was also a left axillary lymph node biopsy. The pathology for the left breast showed infiltrating ductal carcinoma, grade 3 scarf bloom Richardson, ER negative, PR negative, and HER2 negative. The pathology on the left axillary node was positive for metastatic ductal carcinoma. Now, clinical staging uses information from the physical exam, imaging, and diagnostic biopsy. The purpose is to select the appropriate treatment and to estimate prognosis. Now, synopsis of the case the, is a patient with a 4 centimeter mass, infiltrating duct carcinoma, the axilla is positive on exam, imaging, and core needle biopsy. What is the clinical stage? The T, the N, the M, and the stage group. The correct answers are T2, N1, M0, stage group 2B. Based on the stage, the treatment is selected and NCCN treatment guidelines should be reviewed. The rationale for the staging choices. It's a T2 because the tumor size is greater than 2 centimeters and less than or equal to 5 centimeters. N1 because the nodes were clinically positive on physical exam, imaging, and core needle biopsy. M0 because there are no symptoms or signs to suggest metastatic disease. Imaging tests may be done but are not necessary to classify as a clinical M0. The clinically significant prognostic factors applicable for management of this case are Paget's disease, no, ER status, negative, PR status negative, and HER2 status negative. The scarf bloom Richardson is grade 3, and the method of node assessment is radiographic and core needle biopsy. There are no prognostic factors required for staging. This case was presented at Cancer Conference for initial treatment recommendations. The patient was offered and received primary multi-agent chemotherapy based on the 4 centimeter triple negative infiltrating duct carcinoma and pathologically positive axillary lymph nodes. Here are the NCCN treatment guidelines. Now the clinical response. Four months after the start of chemotherapy, the left breast mass and abnormal axillary node are no longer palpable. Imaging by ultrasound only shows the clip and no other abnormality. Patient is considered to have a complete clinical response to the neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Now the surgery. The procedure is a mammographically wire localized left breast lumpectomy of the upper inner quadrant with a residual clip. Therapeutic level 1 and 2 left axillary dissection is performed. The operative findings are the specimen radiograph shows the initial clip in the center of the specimen. Now the pathology results for the breast. Background of fibrosis, evidence of treatment effect, with multiple foci of grade 3 infiltrating duct carcinoma, no focus larger than 3 millimeters. The margins were negative, and the closest margin is 5 millimeters posterior margin. The left axillary nodes. There were 13 nodes two fibrotic, suggestive of treatment effect, 
without definitive evidence of invasive carcinoma except for a foci less than 0.2 millimeter in each of these two nodes. This shows a picture of the low power pathology. And this is a picture of the high power pathology. For pathologic staging, it uses information from the clinical staging supplemented or modified by information from the surgery and the pathology report. YP is assessment at the conclusion of therapy. Now the purpose is additional precise data for estimating prognosis, calculating end results, survival data, and the YP shows the extent of response to the therapy. Now the synopsis for this patient, it's a patient <clears throat> with a microscopic residual foci of infiltrating duct carcinoma in the breast, none greater than 3 millimeters, and microscopic foci of metastatic carcinoma in two of the 13 axillary nodes, none greater than 0.2 millimeters. What is the pathologic stage? The T, the N, the M, and the stage group. The correct answer is YP T1A parentheses M to show multiple tumors, YPN0, I positive, CM0, and YP stage group 1A. Based on this pathologic stage, there is more information to estimate the prognosis and adjuvant treatment is selected. Now the rationale for the staging choices for the T and the M. The YP T1A parentheses M because the residual invasive tumor after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, the Y designation, has multiple foci of infiltrating duct carcinoma with sizes between 0.1 millimeter and 5 millimeter. The M denotes multiple foci. The individual sizes of foci are not added together to get the final T size. Clinical M0 is classified by the M status prior to therapy. The Y prefix is used to show the stage during or following neoadjuvant therapy. Now the post-treatment nodal status. The post-treatment nodal metastases are less than or equal to 0.2 millimeter are classified as YPN0 I+. The I plus definition is same as patients without neoadjuvant therapy. However, these are not considered to have achieved a pathologic complete response. Now the summary of the correct answers, the clinical stage is T2, N1, M0, stage group 2B. The pathologic stage is YP, T1A, parentheses M, YP, N0, parentheses I+, clinical M0, and YP stage group 1A. The staging classifications have a different purpose and therefore can be different. Do not go back and change the clinical staging based on pathologic staging information. It's always important to review site-specific information and rules. Clinical staging is based on information before treatment and it's used to select treatment options. The Y pathologic staging is based on clinical data plus surgery and pathology report information after neoadjuvant therapy. It assesses the response to the treatment and it's used to evaluate the end results, the survival. Any questions can be submitted to the AJCC forum, which is part of the Cancer Forum. This has been brought to you by the American Joint Committee on Cancer, TNM Staging, the Common Language of Cancer. The AJCC provides worldwide leadership in the development, promotion, and maintenance of evidence-based systems for the classification and management of cancer in collaboration with multidisciplinary organizations dedicated to cancer surveillance and to improving care. Thank you.